Hello, Juan Pablo Alverde López from the Cisco Talk Wireless team here. In this tutorial, I'll guide you through generating essential logs such as radioactive traces and packet captures, along with debug bundles from the Catalyst 9800 wireless controller, which include a specific show command without requiring direct CLI access. Navigate to troubleshooting in the left column and select Debug Bundle in the top right corner. Here, you can customize the name of the generated .tar file. In the text box, input the desired commands for the debug bundle, such as show tech support wireless and show tech support. Note that there is a limit of five commands per debug bundle. You can also include web server logs and core files if you have any. Click on Create Debug Bundle and Confirm. It offers a powerful capability to string together a sequence of operations across the system, providing detailed insights and an elevated verbosity level. This feature enables us to selectively print debug information across various thread processes and function calls from a specific device. Input the IP address of MAC address of the wireless client or access point you want to investigate. The format is flexible and it can include dashes and columns grouped in pairs. The system automatically parses the format to quarters separated by dots. The most important thing is to enable the conditional debug global state by clicking the start button. Once confident that you have captured the intended issue, stop conditional debugging. Afterward, Click on the green Generate button and choose a time frame to generate the file. You can choose from the default ones or select your time frame. If your TAC engineer requests radioactive traces with enabled internal logs, simply click the checkbox. To get a starter, navigate to Troubleshooting Packet Capture and click on Add. Leave the settings at their default as you will filter the packets later in Wireshark based on the analysis needs. You can apply specific filters such as IPv4, IPv6 or leverage an ACL configure on the controller. You can also have the option to employ MAC address filtering. To ensure you capture enough data, consider increasing the buffer size significantly. 100 MB is suggested. Select the interface carefully. On cloud-based controllers, opt for the wireless management interface. On physical appliances, choose your uplink interface or the port channel set on the controller. Once the configuration is set, click on Apply to Device. Then hit the Start button. Once confident the issue has been captured, click on Stop. Export the packet capture by selecting the destination path. It's common to leave it on desktop as it will download it to your local machine. This concludes the packet capture configuration, providing you with the essential data for effective troubleshooting. Additionally, when sharing the acquired files, ensure to provide details regarding the circumstances under which they were captured and include timestamps. Thank you for joining this tutorial.